Alright everyone, back here today with the Dreamline, with Plim installed, 25 caliber again, but a little bit of surprise, I got two plenums on here this time, just to run through, see what happens, uh, I had a lot of comments asking what two power plenums does on the first video that I did, so I've already got this gun tuned up, I just want to show you real fast on video what it does. Uh, so I've got actually the regular at only 160 now. If you remember from the last video, it took uh, 170 to get this gun going at its max speed. Uh, this one actually maxes out uh, at 160. It doesn't get any, uh, actually starts losing pressure after once, or losing speed after 160. Uh, so that what that tells me is either there's not enough hammer weight or there's just too much air in the plenum, which is understandable. Um, you've got a large extension here. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and throw a magazine in. These are 25 grain JSBs. I've got some 34 grains in here to test afterwards. Alright, go ahead and get the magazine in. I'm hooked up to a tank so I don't have to worry about air tank pressure. Uh, that's sitting at 240. So, here we go. Here's the 25 grains. Thousand seven. Thousand fourteen. 1010, 1012, Thousand six, thousand ten, thousand seventeen, thousand ten, thousand thirteen, thousand twenty. So go ahead and pull that out. Um, so I don't know if y'all can notice or not, but uh, this is a little bit more consistent this time. And it is able to hold the higher pressure, it gained about maybe 10, 15 feet per second at the most. Um, so, does it really benefit anything with the 25 caliber? Not really, actually. Uh, especially if you have it max tuned out already. Um, but once again, the Dreamline does have a smaller valve pin, valve seat assembly, so that's uh, actually not surprising. It's not very surprising at all. We're going to go ahead and try out the 34 grain Mark IIs. Nine eighteen, nine twenty five, nine seventeen, nine nineteen, nine sixteen, and one more. 15. So those seem to be pretty consistent. Uh, around the 9 teens to the uh, early 920 stage, uh, that's actually a really good speed for these Mark IIs. So, um, and it was actually quite consistent, so you should be able to get some good accuracy out of those. I'm not doing any sort of accuracy testing with this video. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's some good velocities. Uh, with, with the Mark IIs, uh, with them shooting that speed, the, the uh, right below 920, around 920, um, the only slug I would really recommend for the Dreamline 25 caliber with the 600mm barrel would probably be the Nielsen 36.2 grains. Uh, they actually tend to like a lower speed, um, below like around between 840 to 860. Uh, so this gun should be able to produce that energy, no problem. Uh, the next thing would be whenever the hybrid slugs come out, the FX hybrid slugs. Besides that, not really a slug gun, but you can sling these Mark IIs all day long. Uh, and maybe if you find some lighter slugs, some lighter 25 caliber slugs, like uh, under 30 grain, uh, they, they, they might be able to do well. They, I, I don't know. I can't guarantee anything. I've never tested them, but uh, they should be able to do well. All right, so we're actually going to switch this gun over to a 22 caliber. Uh, we're going to keep the two plenums on there. Just do a quick conversion. And then after we do two plenums with the 22 caliber, uh, we're going to switch it over to just one plenum with the 22 caliber, since a lot of people were asking about that. 
And also, real fast, just so you know, the 22 caliber will have a slug on it. 